Hello everyone, Chaos here, and welcome to another Old School RuneScape video. Today, the Hard Wilderness Diary. For this set of tasks, you can expect to visit these locations. Feel free to pause if you would like to screenshot this map. For the level requirements, you need 64 Agility, 53 Fishing, 67 Hunter, 66 Magic, 68 Slayer, and 75 Smithing. For the item requirements, you need any God Staff, 2 Blood and 2 Fire Runes, an Unpowered Orb, 3 Cosmic and 34 Air Runes, a Small Fishing Net, a Rope, a Hammer, about 6,000 Coins, 2 Adamant Bars, some Combat Gear with a Slash Weapon, an Anti-Dragon Shield, an Oily Fishing Rod and Fishing Bait. As a reference, the Oily Fishing Rod is used in the Hero's Quest. For the quest requirements, you need to have completed Death Plateau. You must also complete the mini-quest, the Mage Arena. Remember to bring some method of transportation to make this slightly faster. So, once you have everything ready, let's jump into the tasks. And like I said in the previous video, we are going to start all of these at the resource uh, area, I guess, here in the wilderness, where we are going to smith an adamant scimitar. As long as you have your bars, you don't need to mine them here. Next, we are going to kill a lava dragon and bury the bones at the la... Lava? <laughs> Lava Dragon Island. As you can see, my equipment was too bad, but once you kill the dragon, bury the bones, and that should be it. For task number three, we are going to fish some raw lava eel in the wilderness, and as you can remember, just like I said in the requirements part, we are going to need an oily fishing rod. You get this from the hero's quest. If you don't know the process, just go to the wiki, click the uh, search the uh, an oily fishing rod. I believe you need like an irid potion, some um, thin snail crushed in a little like weird vase, whatever. So yeah, go to the lava maze, uh, fish your eel, and that's pretty much it. Next, we are going to kill a spiritual warrior at the Wilderness God Wars dungeon. As you can see in my inventory, this time around I have my items, so I am going to be uh, able to kill the spiritual warrior, which is uh, quite nice. In the previous one, as you remember, I didn't have that much luck, because I forgot my items and I was out of health for like... in like... <laughs> 5 seconds. After you kill it, we are going to... And take the agility shortcut from uh, Trollheim to uh, to the wilderness. As you can see, I was a little confused and I forgot that you need to go to um, to Trollheim and then you need to go to the wilderness. I was like, hmm, what do I do? So again, learn from my mistakes, go to Trollheim and then go to the wilderness. So as you can see, I just show you where we are going to land and I was like, hmm, bye. And yeah, so I teleported to the uh, Trollheim stronghold, I believe, and well, I am in the wilderness once again. Here we are going to charge an air orb, and once again we need to go to the Edgeville dungeon, in which we are going to go all the way north this time around, near the Black Demons. And as you can see, uh, well, in a few seconds, we are going to climb a set of stairs uh, right about here. And once you do that, use your spell on the obelisk, and that should be it. For this next one, we are going to catch a black salamander. If you have the burning amulet, I believe, go ahead and travel to the Chaos Altar in level, what is it, like 15 wilderness. Go north, uh, northeast and then a little south, and you're going to be able to catch them right here. As you can see, I'm still doing little emotes while I wait. Now, this one, you need to cast one of the three god spells against a player. Now, I didn't find anyone here because there wasn't a lot of people, but uh, maybe just ask someone to help you out with this one, and that should be it. For task number 9, we are going to kill the Chaos Elemental, and just like any other boss, um, what is it, boss um, kills here in these, uh, in, in, in these guides, I only show you where they are, but when we get to the boss guides here in the channel, I am going to show you how to kill either just one or kill them effectively. For this last one, we are going to kill three bosses, the Crazy Archaeologist, the Chaos Fanatic, and Scorpia. If you are following this, uh, it, I guess it wouldn't really be too efficient uh, following this guide for the bosses, but um, as you can see, I'm going to die here. I'm just waiting for my, <laughs> for my fate, and I'm like, <laughs> bye. Or I guess you know, I just ask the Chaos, the uh, yeah, the Chaos Fanatic to kill me. As you can see, I am like, hmm, what do I do? What do I do? I just kind of wanted to leave this in to kind of show you how much I struggled here in the death area. And I'm like, ah, I have a video to make. Please let me get the hell away from here. Uh, but once you, um, well, once you arrive or like go 
somewhere else, I guess. Um, we already saw where the Chaos Fanatic is, as well as Scorpia. So this last one, I am going to show you where the Crazy Archaeologist is, and go to the west, or to the left part of the wilderness, and as you can see, we have some ruins here in the map. Go ahead and, uh, well, kill the Crazy Archaeologist, and those three bosses are just going to be one task. So, yeah, hopefully uh, you kill them easily, just get one KC, and that will be the end of the hard tasks. Once done, go to the NPC named Chaos Fanatic near the bridge between Edgeville and the Grand Exchange. You will obtain the Wilderness Sword 3. You will also obtain a lamp worth 15,000 experience, and finally all of these other benefits shown on screen. And that's pretty much it! If this video was useful in any way, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more guides. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you soon!